Well, earlier I spoke to the Culture Secretary, Nadine Doris, and I began by asking her what Boris Johnson was apologising for. I think he was apologising to everybody who feels that the culture in Number 10 did not represent the restrictions that people had to adhere to out in the country. Is he sorry for his own behaviour? Is he sorry for that, his own behaviour? So, look, Sue Gray has produced a report, and in that report she says no conclusions should be drawn. What has happened is that some of those, it, those issues, and you will have the list, have been referred to some of those parties. I mean, I mean you know, when... But, but I'm, is he apologising sure for his own behaviour? Yeah. But no, I to, or, no, or, or is he apologising for other people's behaviour? I think he's apologising for the position that we're in at the moment. Was his allegation that Keir Starmer was responsible for not prosecuting Jimmy Savile? How, how can you have a Prime Minister just repeating fake news like that? Well, I have no idea of the background of Keir Starmer and I know it's that he... It's not true and the Prime I Minister know. repeated it. It's an old meme that's just repeated by... Well, you know, there were things that Keir Starmer theorists. said that someone who was the former Director of Public Prosecutions shouldn't have said at the dispatch box. He didn't say anything that wasn't true. He shouldn't have prejudged what a Met investigation was going to find. He didn't say anything that was untrue. Well, Boris I, Johnson said something that was untrue. He said things he that were inappropriate. He misled the House today. I, I don't believe that's the case. Well, it, it is, what, you're saying that Keir Starmer was responsible I don't for know, not I don't know the prosecute. details. Well, that's what the Prime Minister said. Well, I don't, you haven't he your shouldn't word have said it. it, should he? Well, I think there are lots of things that Keir Starmer shouldn't have said. Well, there are clearly things that he said that aren't the true. The Prime Minister Now, whether, he would, the whether they were deliberate lies or not has yet to be established. But he's clearly said things to the House that were not true. The Prime Minister tells the truth. The Met have revealed that they've got 300 images relating to these parties. Does that worry you? No, not at all. I think the more information that they have, the better their investigation will be. And, and what about the parties in the flats, or the gatherings in the flats that are being investigated? I don't know if, anything of any gatherings, so I the, can't really comment. Don't you think it's odd that the Prime Minister wouldn't confirm whether he was at one of the gatherings being investigated by the police. Well, as I've said numerous times, no one can say anything while an ongoing investigation because it could you can. be prejudiced. No, I mean, no, saying can't. whether you were in your flat or not does not prejudice an inquiry. No, nope, I'm afraid the Prime Minister is bound by the same cons constraints that we all are. Until the Met investigation is concluded, we can't say anything. I mean, the truth is, you would support him no matter what, wouldn't you? That's. <laughs> I mean, th there are no circumstances under which you would say enough's enough. Do you want to ask me a serious question? Well, are there? Are there? I mean, you know, what would it take?